Hi, this is Lexi Nieto, voice of Tomo Aizawa from Tomo-chan is a Girl, and you're listening to Podcast Across Worlds, Hawaii's number one anime podcast. Aloha, everybody. This is Lehua Sipirifina, host of Podcast Across Worlds, where we like to read a lot of manga, watch a lot of anime, and talk about it for hours. In this episode, we're going to talk about shonen. Yeah, I have actually been watching a lot of shonen recently, and it just gave me some thoughts before where I did not like shonen at first. And when I was trying to get into it, people didn't explain it to me very well and they gave me bad examples and when I mean bad examples I mean they gave me the ones that I already knew of that I was like nah and they gave me examples where it's not just shonen it had shoujo in it it had jose in it it was fantasy it was all kinds of other genres I wanted recommendations for just shonen like purely solely for it (laughs) and so that's what i want to talk about in this episode shonen so let's just define what shonen is shonen is literally meaning boy or youth in japanese shonen is a demographic category aimed at young adolescent boys typically between 12 and 18 but don't let that fool you (laughs) <laughs> shonen offers thrilling adventures epic battles and themes that resonate with viewers of all ages like for me i like fantasy isekais because there's always that character that starts from zero and becomes a hero i like seeing the journey i feel like i'm living the journey vicariously through them so when they're leveling up they're overcoming challenges i get super excited for them and i feel like i'm part of the ride what can you expect from a typical shonen story though yeah i kind of veered off to fantasy (laughs) isekai (laughs) imagine a determined hero with a burning sense of justice they might have flaws and weaknesses but they persevere through rigorous training to develop their skills and fight for what they believe in you can think of naruto uh dragon ball which is goku uh was it other called oh she bleach ichigo luffy from one piece and even now you can also think of kafka through kaiju 8 but shonen isn't just about throwing punches the genre boasts surprisingly uh diversity there is a shonen like Haikyuu that celebrates sportsmanship, teamwork, has a comedic feeling. There is one punch man who throws hilariously, hilarious punches, actually, alongside its action. Even romance has a place in the shonen world. And then we want to talk about the core theme, so that make shonen so powerful. The unwavering bond of friendship is a constant source of strength for our heroes. They fight alongside their comrades, facing challenges, and celebrating victories together. Perseverance is another key theme for shonen. Heroes rarely achieve greatness overnight. They face grueling training, setbacks, and powerful opponents. But through sheer determination, they overcome any obstacle. Shonen is also a genre of self-discovery. Heroes embark on a journey to learn about their strengths, weaknesses, and what truly matters to them. Every challenge they face tests their growth and pushes them to become the best versions of themselves. But let's figure it out. Shonen wouldn't be shonen without some signature tropes. <laughs> We've all heard of the chosen one, the hero destined for greatness, often possessing a unique power or lineage. 
training arcs are another staple allowing heroes to hone their skills and prepare for epic battles and who can forget the power up at critical moments our heroes are often experiencing or often experience surges of strength or new abilities defying seemingly impossible odds mm -hmm. and speaking of epic battles there's that there's this you know where like you know where shonen truly shines these stories are filled with thrilling fights where heroes showcase their incredible abilities and visually stunning clashes from the colossal titans of attack on titan to the epic alchemy battles of full metal alchemist shonen battles keep you glued to the edge of your seat so why is shonen popular it's the perfect blend of action relatable characters and universal themes we cheer for the underdog we celebrate the power of friendship and we root for the hero's growth plus with its variety of subgenres shonen offers something for everyone now a shonen might not be everyone's cup of tea some years might find certain tropes overused or feel the focus on action overshadows character development. That's where I had an issue. I thought the action overshadowed the character development. Like there was so much focus on those fights uh, and whatnot that I was like, okay, where's it going? Where's the story going? Come on, let's go. Let's go. And then shonen plots can sometimes follow a similar structure and the emphasis on spectacle might come at the expense of complex storylines this is what i mean <laughs> but hey you know that's the beauty of anime and manga there's a whole ocean of stories out there waiting to be discovered for example, there are some classics which can be subjective, but here are five highly influential and widely considered classic shonen manga and anime titles that have left a lasting impact on the genre. For manga, we got Dragon Ball. This action-packed adventure by Aika Toriyama is a global phenomenon. It popularized the tropes of the chosen one, intense training arcs and epic battles with ever escalating power levels the dragon ball's influence can be felt across countless shonen titles two we got fist of the north star this apocalyptic martial arts masterpiece by bronson and tetsuhara is known for its hyper violence and kenshiro the stoic protagonist mastering the deadly Hokuto Shinken style. Fist of the North Star redefined shonen action with its brutality and dark themes. Slam Dunk is a beloved sports shonen. It doesn't shy away from intense competition and emotional moments while showcasing the teamwork and dedication required to succeed in basketball. Slam Dunk is dedicated or credited is credited with rekindling interest in sport in Japan and inspiring future generations of basketball players. Jojo Bizarre's Adventure. This is a unique and ever evolving shonen epic that spans generations. It started in 1987 and is still going, yo. Uh, yeah. This story spans generations of the Joser family, each facing off against supernatural threats. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is famous for its flamboyant art style, creative use of Stan's supernatural abilities, and genre-bending storytelling. Five. Five, yeah, right? five already? Dang. Akira. Well, not strictly a shonen. 
this cyberpunk masterpiece, Akira, has had a profound impact on the genre. Its blend of action, science fiction, and social commentary explores themes of psychic abilities, government control, and urban sprawl. Akira's influence can be seen in countless shonen titles to explore more mature themes. Now, these are just a few of the many classic shonen manga titles. Each offers something unique and has helped shape the genre into what it is today. Speaking of today, currently, the, well, actually, let's not jump to that. I was going to say the current top manga, but then I'm going to have to go back and forth, back and forth between anime and manga, anime and manga. So let's just keep with the classics. Now for anime, we had Dragon Ball Z again. <laughs> Actually, no, there's a difference. There's Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. So for anime, Dragon Ball Z, this sequel series to Dragon Ball took the action and popularity of the manga to a whole new level, y'all. Dragon Ball Z's iconic characters, epic battles featuring the transformation of Super Saiyans and memorable catchphrases like it's over 9,000 cemented its place as a shonen phenomenon. Number two, Yu Yu Hakusho. This supernatural action series follows Yusuke Urabeshi, a teenage delinquent who becomes a spirit detective. Yu Yu Hakusho's blend of martial arts, demon hunting, and tournaments with memorable characters like Kurama, and he made it a fan favorite. Number three, Sailor Moon. I know, this is actually like a magical girl shoujo. However, it does fit with shonen. <laughs> While sometimes categorized as a magical girl, Sailor Moon broke boundaries and redefined what shonen could be. Usagi and the Sailor Guardians fight for justice, love, and friendship resonated with a large audience, making it a global influencer and a significant title in the history of shonen. Number four, Rurouni Kenshin. This historical samurai adventure follows Kenshin, a former assassin who vows to use his sword for peace. Rurouni Kenshin blends of action, historical setting, and themes of atonement and redemption made it a classic. Number five, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is the one from 2009 to 2010. This adaptation of Full Metal Alchemist's manga is considered by many to be one of the greatest anime series ever made. Following the Elric brothers, Edward and Alphonse, on their quest to restore their bodies after a forbidden alchemy experiment, the series explores complex themes like sacrifice, brotherhood, and the cost of knowledge. Now, these are just a few of the many classic shonen anime titles. Each offers a unique story, memorable characters, and exciting action that continues to inspire and entertain viewers worldwide. Now we're going for current titles. These are five highly popular and critically regarded current shonen manga and anime titles that are making waves. For manga, it's one, My Hero Academia. This superhero-inspired shonen follows Midoriya, a boy who dreams of becoming a hero despite being quirkless. That's someone without powers. In a world where they're commonplace, the series themes of perseverance, defying limitations, and the power of hard work resonate with readers. I actually like this one. This one, as soon as I saw it, I, I followed it from the start. Star. I don't know what it was. Like this was like typical shonen. It was a boy, and he uh, was defying limitations, and he was going through perseverance. Like I, the way it depicted the perseverance parts resonated with me. I was like, "Go, Midoriya, you got this." Okay, next <laughs> two Jujutsu Kaisen. This dark fantasy shonen features Yuji Itadori, a teenager who swallows a powerful cursed object and becomes a jujutsu sorcerer, tasked with battling monstrous curses. The series boasts intense action, a unique power system, and a well-developed characters. Yo, 
the action is amazing it is bananas this one it it caught me instantly demon slayer number three is demon slayer this one is demon slayer took the world by storm with its stunning visuals emotional story and thrilling sword wielding action this follows Tanjiro Kamado, who fights to avenge his family and cure his sister Nesko, who is turned into a demon. Number four, Black Clover. Black Clover follows this boy named Asta, who is born without magical power in a world where magic is everything. Asta's determination to become the Wizard King despite the odds and his rivalry with the project you know, making for an engaging story. You know is actually like his friend that he grew up with and he's powerful. So they're like complete opposites. This story, I know what you guys are saying. This is similar to My Hero Academia with the whole thing where they're powerless or supposedly powerless but they overcome the challenges and they just go against everybody's expectations number five one piece well technically a long-running series one piece remains a major player in the shonen world Monkey D. Luffy's pirate adventure continues to captivate readers with its vast world, quirky characters, and blend of humor and action. This, okay, so I'll tell y'all, this was one of the stories that was recommended to me for Shonen, and I was, I don't, I don't know what to describe it. I just saw how many chapters there were, how many episodes there were, and it was daunting. I was like, I don't know if I can keep up with this story. I'm so far behind. And for a long time, I just avoided this title. And when I did see the anime, I was turned off, perturbed by the main character because he reminded me of naruto was like loud obnoxious arrogant and just happy go lucky a lot and so i was like nah i don't want another character like this i already put a lot of my time watching one someone like that i i cannot i can't spread my energy with this one and then years later i want to say 2000s i finally started reading it and I was like, oh, I like the manga. Okay. And then I started watching the anime and I was like, okay, this is growing on me. And it was totally different. I'm so glad I gave it a chance. So yes, One Piece is current popular manga and anime. I, I want to add to that. <laughs> now for anime. Like a feed before a lot of these titles are just a sampling of many great current shonen titles that are out there so remember explore different series and the best way to find your personal favorites all right y'all okay for anime we got attack on titan this is a dark fantasy epic that took the anime world by storm y'all it follows Aaron Yeager and humanity's fight for survival against monstrous titans within giant walls. And it's a thrilling tale with intense action, complex characters, and social commentary. Number two, My Hero Academia. Yeah. And then number three, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with the manga. Number four, Demon Slayer. And number five, Black Clover. Yes, I repeated titles for both the manga and anime. That's, that's because these doors are really good, y'all. Like, even I like them. They're a must for me. Okay, here's a bonus, y'all. The bonus is, while this is not strictly a current series, Hunter Hunter, 2011 to 2014, um... By Yoshihiro Togashi remains a highly regarded shonen anime with a dedicated fan base. 
It follows Gom on his quest to become a hunter, an exceptional being capable of great feat. The series is praised for its well-balanced blend of action, adventure, humor, and character development. And I must repeat myself. Remember, this is just a starting point. Explore different titles based on your interests in specific themes, genres, or anime sta animation styles, y'all. If you're feeling burnt out on Shonen, don't despair. It's okay. We'll explore other genres like shoujo, seinen, jose, slice of life, isekai, fantasy, action, etc., etc. in future episodes. But for now, if you're looking for an exciting gateway into the world of anime and manga, shonen is a fantastic place to start. So grab your favorite snack, settle in, and get ready to be swept away by the shonen adventure. I'm your host, Lehua Superfina. Keep reading manga, keep watching anime, and keep listening to podcasts across worlds. We'll see you on the next one. Ahoy ho. Thank you for listening to Podcasts Across Worlds. This is a passion project that was created by Lehua Superfina and is co-hosted by myself, Mikhail Casanova. If you enjoyed this episode and any of the topics that we talk about or any of the guests and voice actors and various people we have on the show, then make sure you do us a solid by if you're watching it on YouTube, which is on youtube.com slash Lehua Superfina then make sure you like the video, share it around with someone you think would enjoy it, as well as leave a comment on what you think could be improved or what you liked, what you didn't like, and all that in between. If you're listening to the show on any of the major podcasting outlets, such as Amazon Music, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or any of the others, then make sure you leave a rating, leave a comment, interact with the polls that we put out, and so much more. If you want to support the show, we do have Patreon, as well as many other methods for supporting. And with that being said, we're signing out. We hope you enjoyed this, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Keep listening, keep watching, and keep enjoying podcasts across worlds. We'll see you around.